What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Darkness Ablaze. Yes, we're talking about an English set and it's all about going through every single card that's going to be a V or a VMAX in this set. So I've got in my hand here all 21 cards that are either Vs or VMAXs in this set. And we're going to look at these, look at the artwork, talk through what each one does so you guys have got a better understanding of this upcoming set. So let's start off with our first one. We're going to go in numerical order, color order, and go through each one. So we're going to start off with Butterfree here. As you can see, Butterfree's got 190 HP. It's weak to fighting, and it's got a retreat cost of one. Its first move is uh, one grass energy, and it is called Dizzying Poison. So your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused and poisoned, which isn't too bad. Second one is two grass and a colorless, does 130 damage called Blasting Wind. So that's our first V card of this set. And as you can see, artwork on this card is pretty amazing. Okay, let's move on to card number two. And this is your VMAX version of Butterfree, which is Butterfree VMAX, obviously. Uh, zero retreat cost which is quite nice and it's 300 HP now bumped up again still weak to fighting and its move is also to uh, grass leaf energy and one colorless for 150 and butterfree VMAX does your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused and poisoned uh, so this moves called G max tox breeze it's 150 damage and your opponent's Pokemon is now confused and poisoned as well. So it's combining those two moves, essentially. This next one, this one's a bit more controversial now. So we've got Charizard, Charizard VMAX. Now, have a look at the Charizard here. Now, if, I don't know if you guys are aware of this. I've mentioned it before. In Japan, they've had their annual tournament, which they do every year. And it involves winning a prize uh, of a card that's going to be a limited print and people who compete and finish in the top four get another card which is going to be limited print but obviously four times more print than the prize card the prize card is v max charizard hyper s rainbow rare version which is only going to be limited to 1200 copies 600 in tournaments and 600 for play at home tournaments in japan and then this v card full art is going to be limited to 2400 prints and I think that might double as well for home play. But just to let you guys know, do not expect this in full art or rainbow rare version of the VMAX in this set because it's not happening. Now we've got that out of the way, let's have a look at Charizard and what Charizard does. So it's got a retreat cost of three. It is a weak to water and its first move is for three colorless, 80 damage called Claw Slash, simple as that. Second move for two fire and two colorless does 220 damage, which is nice, quite significant. It is called where is it? Um, a fire spin. So it does 220 damage, discard two energy from this Pokemon in order to do this. Um, so yes, that is that move. So let's have a look at what the V Max variant does. Oh my god, Poipol's flying down. Let's get Poipol. Whoa, Poipol. My channel, there we go, my channel Pokemon is, is lying down on the floor. Okay, Charizard VMAX, there we go. Have a look at that amazing artwork. VMAX is always, with this spirally background pattern, always look amazing. This Charizard VMAX came out in Japan in a special deck with, there's a Grimmsnarl one as well. Now, this English set of Darkness Ablaze is being made up of the Grimmsnarl deck, the Charizard deck, and obviously explosive flame walker and infinity zone and then you've got a couple of cards from the new starter deck these as well which i'll show you when, when we come around to them so let's have a look at charizard v max's move so for three colorless it does 100 damage which is called claw swipe and then for three fire and two colorless it does g max wildfire 300 damage uh discard to energy from this pokemon as well so that's pretty good if you're hitting something for weakness that's 600 damage so a bit of a beast that one and obviously you've got welder and other things 
I can also help you power that up and get it ready uh, to go. Right, we're going to move on to the next one. So this next one is Houndoom. As you can see here, it's got a retreat cost of one. Again, weak to water, as you would expect. 210 HP on Houndoom. And Houndoom's move is Searing Flame, which does 20 damage. And your opponent's active Pokemon is now burnt. So it burns your, active, uh, your opponent's Pokemon. And then the second move is two fire and one colorless, 100 plus. So you might think, what's the plus? If your benched fire Pokemon have any damage counters on them, this attack does 100 more damage. So yes, 200 damage potentially if you've got something on the bench which has got any damage on it, which is a fire Pokemon. So very nice in a fire deck. Again, if you're playing something like, I don't know, Reshizard and you've got Temple that was a temple that does 10 damage to each of your G Max that could trigger that straight away. So that's um, quite interesting to see. Next one here is another one that evolves to a V Max, one of the new Pokemon, Center Scorch from the Galar region. Obviously, uh, Center Scorch is again weak to water as you would expect. It's pretty high retreat cost of three. 210 HP and its first move is for one fire type energy does 20 damage it's called radiating heat you may discard an energy from this Pokemon if you do discard an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon as well so you can help slow down your opponent potentially if you're waiting to use a welder or something else could be quite useful and then the second attack is 180 for four fire energy called burning train so interesting one that you can uh, slow your opponent down by having discarding an energy from their active Pokemon. Now the VMAX version of this again is weak to water, again three retreat cost. Its HP is bumped up by 110 to 320 and its move is two colorless and it does 40 plus damage which is a GMAX Centriferno. This attack does 40 more damage for each fire energy attached to this Pokemon. You may attach a fire energy from your discard pile to this Pokemon after calculating damage for this attack. So it just gets more powerful as it goes along. So yes, again, there is support to get fire Pokemon powered up pretty quickly with energy. Um, very useful, potentially in a fire deck. Okay, we'll move on to the lightning one now. So we've got Vikavolt, which is our one and only lightning V card in this set. Weak to fighting, retreat cost of three. Its HP is 210. Vikavolt, what does it do? Well, it does a paralysis, paralyzing bolt for 50 damage during your opponent's next turn. Your opponent can't play any item cards from their hand. Quite a useful um, stalling attack there. Stall your opponent out, can be very useful. Uh, especially as this is a basic you can get this out very early on and start doing that can really frustrate your opponent from powering up their pokemon doing pretty much anything uh, second move there's two lightning and a colorless for 190 and that attack is called super zap cannon discard two energy from this pokemon so why do you to discard two energy to do 190 but would probably use the first one then yeah when you're at a point you can knock out a pokemon use that one but then your opponent can start using their item cards as well okay so that's the one and only lightning card in this deck we move on to the one and only psychic type and this one is from one of the vmax starter decks sorry not vmax v starter decks which was released in july 2020 in japan and it is mew so mew has zero retreat cost it is weak to dark energy and it has resistance to fighting. So 30 less damage for fighting. Don't know if you noticed, the rest of them did not have any resistance. Pretty interesting that. 180 HP this one and a single move on Mew. Um, Mew's move is called, um, I do not know the name of it. <laughs> okay. Stack does 30 damage times the amount of energy attached to this Pokemon and your opponent's active Pokemon. So both active Pokemon, 30 damage. So if they've got something really big, really powered up, that is quite interesting. You can do some damage. No ability on this Mew. You usually expect Mew to have some sort of ability, but this particular one doesn't. So let's move on. Rhyperior. 
So Rhyperior V is, uh, again, no resistance, two times weakness to grass, um, leaf energy, uh, four retreat cost of four, which is huge. This is a big beast, but then again, there is, oh god, what is it that has, there's an item card that gives something four energy, some four retreat cost, something. I always forget. You guys can uh, write down in the comments below that item card. So, first attack is one fighting, two colourless, and Rhyperior's first attack is called Drill Run, 80 damage, discard an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Seemed to be a trend with this. Saw that a bit earlier on, didn't we? Oh, Vic uh, not Vicavolt. Center Scorch. Um, second attack is one fighting and three colourless for 210 damage, but it also, during your next turn, this Pokemon can't use Heavy Rock Artillery. So you can only use that um, every other turn. So that's an interesting one. Don't know how much use that will be, but um, could be useful for stuff that's weak to fighting. And I think we're going to see something a bit further up, which will be weak to fighting and is going to be a pretty, pretty popular deck. Okay, here is another one of those from the V starter decks. This is Galarian Slowbro V. This one's got a three retreat cost, again, no resistance, weak to fighting, and it's got 210 HP. Its ability is, once during your turn, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, you may leave your opponent's active Pokemon poisoned. It's very nice indeed, and its attack is 130 damage, two dark energy, and a colorless energy, and it's called Stranding Shot. During your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon cannot retreat. Very nice. Now there is a dark energy, special energy coming out, which gives all your dark Pokemon attached to it uh, free retreat. So this does the opposite for your opponent, doesn't let them retreat. This next one now is probably the most uh, popular card that's going to be in this set. It's going to be a high value card if you pull it. Um, wasn't cheap for me to obtain, I didn't pull one in my three boxes. But it is Crobat V. So Crobat V is going to be very, it's going to be a staple in pretty much everyone's deck. This thing is lovely. Its ability is when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your um, bench during your turn, you may draw cards until you have six cards in your hand. You can't use more than one uh, Dark Asset ability each turn. So yeah, its ability is called Dark Asset. Can't use more than one of each turn, but put it on your bench, drop to six, so you can literally like dwindle your hand down, put this on your bench, boom, and then you're drawing cards again. Very good early game to get yourself set up and a head start over your opponent. So I think a lot of people will be using this just for its ability and have it as a bench set, even if they're not playing dark. And its attack is 70 for one dark and one colorless energy, which is um, Venomous Fang, um, 70 damage, as I said, your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. So that poisons your opponent. Not a great attack, only 70 damage, but people aren't gonna be playing this for its attack. They're gonna be playing it for its ability and it's gonna be extremely popular. So expect to see that as a staple, like Tapu Lele was in pretty much everyone's uh, deck, like Dedene was, but instead, unlike Dedene, this one doesn't require you to discard your hand. It just basically fill your hand up till you've got six. Okay, next one was another one of those special decks. This one was the Grimmsnarl uh, VMAX de deck, and we have Grimmsnarl V. Uh, this one's got two retreat costs, weak to uh, grass, leaf energy, and 220 HP. First attack is for one dark energy, 40 damage, and it's called Bite, and that's pretty much it. Second attack is for three dark energy, called Spiky Knuckle, it's 200 damage, put two dark energy attached to this Pokemon into your hand. Let's go back into your hand. So, hmm, interesting stuff. But let's see what its VMAX variant does. So, its uh, HP gets bumped up by 110 to 330. Its retreat cost goes up by 1 to 3. Again, it's still weak to uh, leaf, grass energy. 3 dark energy is its attack, 170 plus which is G-Max Drill. So this attack does 50 more damage for each extra dark energy attached to this Pokemon, but not used to pay for this attack. Energy beyond the second doesn't count. So it basically can do up to 270 damage if you've got five energy attached to it. 
five dock energy attached to it. It's quite expensive, but could be quite useful, especially with Rose. Yes, Rose Supporter, I think, allows you to attach energy from your discard to your VMAX Pokemon, I believe. Um, I've not looked into the supports well enough. Just going through the Vs here and the VMAX this week. <laughs> okay, so here is a, one of the poster boys for this set. It is Eternatus V, one of my favourites from this generation. Actually, probably is my favourite from this generation. Um, Eternatus V is uh, 220 HP, 2 retreat costs, weak to fighting, and its first move is one colourless, does 30 damage, power accelerator. So you may attach a dark energy card from your hand to one of your benched Pokemon. Could be quite useful, stick on something like Grimmsnarl to power that up. Uh, second attack is one dark energy, three colourless, 120 plus. What does it do? It's called Dynamax Cannon, um, appropriately named because that's what Eternatus its main move is. Um, if your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon VMAX, this attack does 120 more damage. Similar to the game, um, it does more damage if your opponent is a big boy. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's Eternatus V. And then obviously you have got its VMAX variant which is this one over here, which has 340 HP, so 120 bump up. Its retreat cost goes up by 1 to 3. Again, it's weak to fighting. It has an ability, and this ability is Eternal Zone. Okay, if all of your Pokemon in play are Dark type, you can have up to 8 Pokemon on your bench and can't put um, any non-Dark type Pokemon into play. If you do put a dark type Pokemon into play, you have to discard, I believe, um, Pokemon from your bench until you've got five there. This can be quite useful if you've got something in your active that's taken a lot of damage, you swapped it out, put it on your bench because you've got that special dark energy which gives you free retreat. You then play something that isn't dark, you can then discard that without your opponent sniping it and potentially taking prize cards. So it's a good way to reduce your bench um, back down and then you can obviously bump it back up again. So very nice ability there. And then it's attack. One dark energy, one colorless is called Dread End. This attack does 30 damage for each of your dark Pokemon in play. So if you've got eight on your bench and this, you're doing 270 damage. Nothing to sniff about there very very nice indeed so great one there okay let's move on to the next one which is scissor v one of the best artworks i think in this set beautiful looking card as you can see it's got a retreat cost of two it's got resistance to um leaf grass energy uh it's weak to fire 210 hp it's first move for one metal energy 30 damage and it's called hack off discard a pokemon tool and a special energy from your opponent's active pokemon can be very useful in this modern game because obviously there are quite a few pokemon out there which are going to be utilizing all these new special energies we've got in it's the sword and shield era every set's got a few of them um so that's fairly nice indeed second move two metal and one colorless does 140 damage and that is called slashing claw as you would expect from a scissor Right, moving on to Scissor VMAX, which is this beautiful card here. As you can see, stunning looking artwork. Again, retreat cost of two. Again, resistance to leaf grass energy. Weak to fire, 320 HP. So it bumps up by 110 when it becomes a VMAX. First move for one metal and one colorless, 90 damage and it's called Hard Scissor. During your next turn, this Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks. So it gives it a bit of defense there. Second move there is called Max Steel Spike, 190 damage for two metal and a colorless. So there is Scissor VMAX. Right, down to the last three now. So first one is this very strange Pokemon, Galarian Stunfisk, the bear trap Pokemon. If you've ever seen it in the game, it looks like a bear trap. What does it do? Okay, so this spiky little thing um, has got an ability called um, 
Metal Skin, this Pokemon gets plus 20 HP for each Metal Energy attached to it. So, very good in Metal decks, because um, stick this maybe in a Zacian deck. Might, might work out pretty good, and it can get bumped up fairly nicely. Its attack is Trapping Bite, 60 damage during your opponent's next turn. This Pokemon is damaged by an attack, even if it's knocked out, but 12 damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. 120 damage onto the attacking Pokemon. Very nice indeed. Again, weak to fire, resistant to leaf grass energy. Retreat cost of 4, 200 HP. Okay, so that's that one. And now we move on to the last V and the last V Max from this set. We've got Salamence V to begin with. Um, Salamence might see some play. 220 HP, colorless. Uh, retreat cost of 2, resistance to fighting, weak to lightning, which can be a problem, current meta. Um, its first attack is for 3 colourless energy, which is swoop across, so it does 30 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, don't apply weakness and resistance for bench Pokemon. So, yep, 30 damage to every single Pokemon on your opponent's side. And then the second attack for an extra energy, 4 colourless energy, is 160 damage, which is Heavy Storm. Okay, so let's pop that down there and let's have a look at the last card now, which is Salamence VMAX. So for one colorless energy, Salamence VMAX uh, does a move called Sonic Double. This attack does 40 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon. You don't apply weakness or resistance for any of the benched ones. And for four colorless, it does 240 damage. Uh, during the next turn, it can't use Max Wing, which is what this attack is called. So that is it. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Give you guys a look at the artwork. I'm sure you could have sort of researched those moves as well, but I've done it for you. Um, this set is absolutely beautiful as far as cards are concerned. And there is something there for everyone. Eternatus is going to be huge, I think. Um, we're going to have Crobat, which is going to be a staple in everyone's decks. We've got um, Vicavolt, which I can see having play. Center Scorch as well. And Charizard, obviously people are going to try and play that, being Charizard. So there is some useful stuff in here. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have, please leave me a like. Leave a comment below. Tell me what your favorite Pokemon I've discussed today is. What you think is going to be the most playable cards from this set. And generally... Um, what you think of Darkness Ablaze. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hope you've enjoyed this. Stick around. If you like my content, if you like this content, you'll probably like what else I do. I open Japanese booster boxes so you can get a chance to see Pokemon artwork up to three months before you're going to see them in English. So it is quite useful to stay tuned to my channel. Hit that subscribe button if you do like my content. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye.